is going to offer you a little overview of what you can do with Mac OS on your Mac computer. These are some of just the basic ways to use the system. Uh, the first thing to note is that up at the top we see an Apple icon. Uh, this is our main system menu. That's followed by an application menu for the current application, uh, which for me is QuickTime Player. If I change application, say if I open Finder down here, that menu will change. Over on the right here we have the uh, system icons that tell us about how our system is working, what network we're connected to, our battery, things like that. Um, this main area is called the desktop and down at the bottom we have the dock. Now, the dock only shows us that um, some of our applications, by default it comes with the, the most useful ones on a Mac. Um, but you can see this is this dock here is quite different, it's been quite heavily customized. If you want to see all applications that are available, you can click on Finder and go to Applications and you can see a list here. Uh, you can launch any of these applications by double clicking on it, but once it's been launched and it opens, here we go, Preview is open, you'll see it in the dock. However, if we quit, which we can do by File, uh, sorry, Preview, Quit, or command Q. If we quit preview, what we'll see is it disappears from the dock. If we want it to stay on the dock, we can drag it down here, uh, and now it's in the dock. But we can see it's not turned on because there's no white light underneath it. If I click here, it opens and the white light appears. One place where many new Mac users go is they keep launching applications and they feel that when they've shut the window, the application is turned off. But you can see it's actually still in memory on the computer, ready to go again. And so if you have too many of these applications open and not enough memory or RAM on your computer, it might slow down. So one good thing to do is to quit these applications as you're done with them. So I'm going to click on Preview and do Command Q. Sometimes you can't quit an application, in which case you can use Force Quit which is up here in this menu, or Command Option Escape. That brings you up a menu that lets you force quit an application even when it's not responding. Sometimes it'll say not responding by the name of the application. This isn't the best way to shut applications though because often you'll lose data. Coming back to Finder, this is the program that lets you navigate what's on your Mac. Um, down here I can see a variety of things like music, pictures, um, downloads. These are all stored in my home folder which is uh, named with my username R Parker. So I can see many of those things in here. The desktop is what we see over here. So we see stuff on the desktop here and stuff on the desktop here. Um, you can use Finder in different modes by switching between the grid, list, columns and Cover flow, I think this one's called. Let's have a look if I leave my mouse here. Yeah, it pops up cover flow. All right. I prefer columns, but you can find uh, different ones to suit you. All right. One of the really useful things that you can do is to keep your files organized. Um, so I'm just going to use a program now. I'm going to go into Finder. Uh, I'm going to go into Applications. And I'm going to find Text Wrangler. This is a program that's used by a lot of programmers, but I'm just going to use it to create a new file. So I'm going to save this file onto the desktop, and I'm going to call it file1. I'm going to make another new file here. I'm going to save it. Command S, file2. All right. We can see these files here. These are icons. We can double click on them to reopen them. If we want to get rid of these, we can drag and drop them into the trash, like that. I'm just going to get that one back quickly. Now there's a lot of things that we can do with this file that aren't immediately obvious. Um, and to see what we can do, we want to right click, or what in Apple is called a secondary click, on here. Um, there's three different ways to do this. One of them is to hold control and click on the trackpad. The other way is to use two fingers to click on the trackpad. And the final way is to make the right hand side of your trackpad act like a traditional Windows right click, 
which is why we call this a right click. So I'm going to go up to System Preferences. I'm going to go to Trackpad. And I'm going to change from the default click or tap with two fingers to the way that I like it, which is click in the bottom right corner. So now what I can do is just click on the bottom right of my trackpad and see that menu. Now we can see that I can open this. I can open it with a range of other programs. I can move it to the trash. I can get information about it. I can rename it. There's all sorts of things I can do here. Now, of course, there's many ways to do things. So I could click on Rename here, or I can click once on the file and press the Return key and rename it there. And I'm guessing there's probably also the ability to rename it up here in the menu. And we see this in Mac throughout, and in most computer systems, there are multiple ways to do the same thing. All right, here's a neat little trick. When you've got some files and you want to organize them, we can highlight them. I use the lasso there, hold down and drag out. Then we can right click and we can say new folder with selection. Um, we don't even need to delete the writing that's there. We just start typing my new files. There we go, we've got a file. All right, I'm gonna delete that. I could drag it to the trash, but actually I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut, um, command delete. There we go, it's gone. All right, uh, there's been a lot of stuff to take in here in a short period of time. You might know some of it, you might not. Take some time to watch the video as often as you need. I'm just going to show you one last trick right now. Um, let's say I wanted to use Firefox. I could move my mouse down here to the dock uh, and click on it, but maybe it's something that's not on my dock. It takes a little time to get to. Or maybe it's not an application. Maybe it's a file or a folder like this one. I can very quickly click on Spotlight, which is a search tool to search for anything on my computer. If I type Firefox, I find it. I can double click here or I can press enter. And actually we can start to use this really quickly by using keyboard shortcuts. So instead of clicking up here, I'm gonna press command space on my keyboard. Um, I'm now gonna type the name of an application I want. Let's say Text Wrangler, like I used earlier. Here it is. I'm not gonna move my mouse, just gonna press enter and it's launched. There we go. Um, I can find things like that folder stuff on my desktop. Um, I can also do some maths up here. I can do 10, times 22 plus 5, for example. Okay, um, And I can say, what is one US dollar in Hong Kong dollars? And it will fetch the answer live from the internet for me. If I want to get rid of this, I just press the escape key at the top left. All right, there's a range of uh, basic and useful tips and tricks that you can do on your Mac. Good luck learning them.